How to feed 6,000 people on this gigantic aircraft carrier? How can you provide food for 6,000 people when they are on a huge aircraft carrier? To merely put some stuff into a pot and call it a day is not the best way to handle this situation. When you're feeding such a large group of people, there's a lot of planning and preparation that goes into it. We will walk you through the process of how they make meals for the whole ship. Beginning with morning and ending with supper, you no longer need to wonder how they pull it off because now you have the answer. Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. In this video, we will take you behind the scenes to show you how the cooks and chefs work to ensure that everyone is fed and satisfied. A bustling galley on an aircraft carrier resembles a large restaurant kitchen. Staff members handle scorching barbecues, chop meat and dip gloved hands into sticky concoctions while wearing paper helmets and uniforms. As they remove freshly cooked goods from ovens, they dash through enormous mixes. The USS Harry S. Truman requires these chefs, who are also referred to as culinary professionals, to serve around 5,500 passengers. As sailors work longer hours with fewer breaks during a military mission, it's crucial to make sure personnel are fed adequately to sustain morale and energy. A floating metropolis requires around 17,300 meals a day to feed everyone. That feels like culinary wizardry, even with 114 sailors contributing. However, individuals in charge of this enormous endeavor claim that cooperation, organization, and multitasking are essential. The person in charge of making the officers' meals, Chief Petty Officer Naomi Goodwin, said that deployment forces you to be a unit. We are very dependent on one another. According to Goodwin, the ship's personnel may consume 350 pounds of lettuce, 160 gallons of milk, and 30 boxes of cereal in a single day. Because there are other locations for sailors to eat, cooking at the home port is far less time-consuming, according to Petty Officer Second Class Brandy Royal, who prepares meals for E6s and below. There is nowhere else to go during deployment, so we must become used to mass manufacturing, added Royal. She said that mass production is the norm. Cooks, she added, must continually prepare meals, do a variety of activities, and learn to take on new ones. She also stressed the need of versatility. According to Goodwin, the previous culinary talents of the cooks might have been all over the place before they joined the Navy. She went on to say, Everyone, from those who have cooked professionally to others who have never even boiled water before. According to her, the responsibility that presents the most challenge is bringing younger members of the staff up to the needed skill level while they are deployed. This is because of the increased pace and workload. It is of the utmost importance to ensure that all seven galleys on the carrier have enough supplies. The amount of food that is unloaded from a supply ship ranges from 400,000 to 1 million pounds every 7 to 10 days. According to Royal, in order to provide a more varied menu option, they would sometimes add regional cuisine in the delivery, such as feta cheese made in Greece. The Navy designs a 21-day menu. They include dishes such as Taco Tuesday and Mongolian Grill, which, in Royal's opinion, are on par with the food served at P.F. Chang's. These dishes are intended to increase employee morale. According to Goodwin, sailors who are stationed at sea and celebrate their birthdays are treated to a special lunch during the month of their birth. This meal has a tablecloth, wine glasses and calming music in addition to a main course of prime rib or lobster. According to Goodwin, the food that the sailors eat has a direct effect on how they feel while they are on board. Thus, the chefs put in a lot of effort to make sure the vast amount of food that they prepare tastes well. Everything in life revolves around eating, she said. This brings us to the end of the video for today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update from us.